Hey guys, Eric here. Today we're doing another edition of Every Ruby Thoughts Reference Ever. So let's waste no time. You know what it is, I know what it is. Let's get right into it. No way! Your sword's a reverse deluminator! Harry Potter, the deluminator. The United Kingdom. So a bit of trivia for you guys. This is actually one of my favorite videos on the channel just because of how well the song God Save the Queen works with Salem's backstory. And even the lyrics are working here because the words God Save the Queen, those are singular, but they sound like they could be plural. And there's like also a twisted irony here, like God Save the Queen. Yeah, they saved her all right. They really did. Truth be told, I would have punched this c in the face until my hand broke. My poor drink is laying over there on the ground, spilling into the carpet. Uh, the comedian Jim Jeffries. Anyone who says a sentence, I don't need to drink or take drugs to have a good time. <laughs> I'm high on life. Punch that c*** in the head till your hand breaks. Well, that was until the train came off the rails, literally, and figuratively. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Side note, I've been really looking at discontinuing this guy just because it is a nightmare for copyright. You know, you can talk to me about stuff. Yang too. But really, don't. Her life advice just boils down to do the thing, punch people, and make puns. The Legend of Korra. Julie, do the, uh, the thing. Oh wow, does yelling like this ever feel good? Getting all of that pent-up emotion out is great. Like Weiss always says, let it go. Wait, did she say that? Frozen. All right, stay calm, Ruby. This is just like any other dungeon. Don't open random treasure chests and hope that you don't roll a one. Dungeons and Dragons. So if you don't know, there are these things called mimics. They look like treasure chests until they're not. And of course, rolling a one is exactly as it sounds. You don't want to roll a one. You're going to have a bad time. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And now I'm all like... The fact that I'm prepared to send you to your almost certain death really does say a lot about how dead I am inside. I must wonder, how did you ever manage, Albus? Harry Potter. Dumbledore was priming Harry to be a sacrificial lamb of sorts, but he did have a lot of faith in him. In the same way that Osmond had a lot of faith in Pyrrha, and by extension, Ruby. Honestly, the whole yearly speech thing does get quite tiresome. May as well make up some nonsense and be hailed the genius anyways. Or perhaps hire a ghostwriter, as the kids would say. Harry Potter, Dumbledore's speech. Nitwit. Blubber. Oddment. Tweak. Thank you. Back in my day, we were launched off of two cliffs. And if you didn't learn the rest of the momentum before you hit the bottom, well, tough luck. Harry Potter in the prison of Azkaban. So as Harry is falling, Dumbledore casts a spell of Rest of Momentum, and that stops him from breaking more of his bones. Rest Momentum! You will be monitored and graded for the duration of your initiation, but our instructors will not intervene. One is bragging about past exploits, the other is having an ungodly caffeine crash, the other is in another castle, and Glinda's busy grading all of you. Good luck. There is a Professor Peach on staff in Ruby Chibi, and if you know anything about Peach, she's always in another castle. Not as bad as Professor Peach. I like her. Yeah, but she's not around very often. The desk will be made of mahogany, in case you are curious. Dragon Ball Z abridged. Mahogany. Uh, Crow, why are you here? You it's one of life's greatest mysteries, isn't it? Why are we here? I mean, are we the product of some cosmic coincidence, or do the gods really watch everything we do? You know, with a plan for us. I don't know, but from my past dealings with them, it keeps me up at night. Come on, do I have to say it? Really? Red versus blue. And really, you gotta wonder, 
What were the gods thinking? Ho ho, 911, it's me again. I'm calling about a murder. A murder with words. The subreddit murdered my words. A bit over dramatic to describe an overly enthusiastic Pokemon breeder, to be honest. But I suppose the point still stands. Pokemon. However, there's still the matter of the Fall Maiden to attend to. Maidens choose themselves. I simply believe I've found the right candidate. Speaking in riddles again, are we, Ozma? Well, Albus, was it not you who said, the truth is a beautiful and terrible thing, and therefore should be treated with caution? That I did, my dear boy. That I did. And I was wrong. Harry Potter. But really, what is it with headmasters and withholding information? Your performance has been exemplary. Top of your class and an honorable killing machine. Glad to see you got everything you ever wanted, Carolina. Oh, for the love of this one doesn't even make sense. You're from the future. Now get to the back. Red versus blue. So if you don't know, Jen Brown voices Agent Carolina and of course, Pyrrha Nikos. They have a lot in common. Red hair, green eyes, an attraction to a very incompetent fighter who later on becomes slightly less incompetent. I'm sorry, but- Ha <laughs> ha, there she goes again with that catchphrase of hers. Now, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're from Remnant, Canada. Sorry? Canada. Side note, Pyrrha is Canadian, and you can't change my mind. Red, maple leaves, the propensity to say sorry a lot. Does it look like I'm joking? I know I may have a goofy persona among you children, but I assure you I'm dead serious, Agent Carolina. Red versus blue. We are the protectors of this world. We are the shields that guards the realm of men. We pledge our lives and honor to humanity, for this night and all our nights to come. And we need your help. Game of Thrones, The Night's Watch. Yeah, I'm not even gonna begin to tell you what I had to do in order to get this stone mask. So I'm sorry if I'm not letting it out of my sight. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, The Stone Mask. Side note, if you find a stone mask in real life, just leave it alone, all right? Don't go picking it up, and most certainly, don't wear it on your face. I could have taken him. Ah, yes. A tall, competent blonde, slinging dad jokes and puns, goes after the brooding, dark-haired beauty. Ah, it's a tale as old as time. Freddy, no! Damn it, Summer! You team killing! Fuck Todd! Red versus blue. You shot church, you team killing fuck! Sorry to cut in, but I don't like the idea of my daughter dying to some circus freak. Avatar The Last Airbender, Ty Lee. Hello, my name is Raven Bronwyn. You injured my daughter. Prepare to die. I actually really do love this one. This is a two for one. So the first one is The Princess Bride. And the second one is Bleach. Number one is Ichigo's song, and when it plays, you know it's about to go down. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. Sun Tzu. The Art of War. Oh, you know, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Uh, technically this was a Peanuts reference, but I've now learned that it's actually from Charles Dickens. Taste my quick scoping fury! Modern Warfare 2. The quick scoping days. The amount of time that I just wasted, like, one of me wanting my friends on Rust with the intervention, like, that was... Ah, <sighs> you don't have fun like that anymore, that's for sure. Your time has come. The Legend of Korra.
Harry Potter. So if you don't get the pun, it's the spell Expecto Patronum, which repels Dementors, or in this case, Apathy. It gets turned into I Specto Patronum. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And a bit of trivia for you guys, the sound design for the scene was completely redone because there was a very, very loud bit of soundtrack in there and I couldn't get it to play nicely with Roundabout. So I had to replace sound effects for the house burning, the uh, tires on the snow, the motorcycle, and just some general environmental sound. It wasn't a lot, a lot, like for a Salem video, for example, but still, just thought I'd say it. And that was another 10 videos worth of Ruby Thoughts references. Which was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, two more things before I go. First of all, unfortunately, there will not be a new video next week because I do have my hands very, very, very full right now as the year drives will close. Uh, as a multitude of work, a freelance gig, and of course, a very special video coming out on December 24th. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I actually don't know why I'm being secretive about it because of the date, everything put out on social and rumblings from the voice actors. But still, if you want to be surprised, I think you're in for a very pleasant surprise. And for the second item on the agenda, I will be taking a bit of an extended break this winter. The first reason really is because uh, Ruby Volume 9 is delayed until sometime in 2022, and I don't know when that's going to be. And I've noticed when there is an extended off season, I just can't really end up making videos, and I don't want to sacrifice the quality anymore because I feel like some of the ones I've been putting out recently haven't been some of my best work, and I feel like that extends from just a general lack of excitement, if that makes any sense. And the second reason is because, well, I've been running this channel solo for the past few months now, and that has really, really been exhausting. So yeah, it's really just because these two factors have lined up so neatly. I don't exactly know how long it'll be on break, but I'm gonna say about a month maybe, depending on, you know, just whatever Ruby is doing, because it's very unpredictable as of me recording this. But yeah, until then, thank you guys so much for another year of being on YouTube. It has been awesome every step of the way. And I expect to be back in 2022 with a new update on stuff we'll be doing for the channel, stuff we won't be doing with the channel, and just general direction. As always, thanks for watching.